It has taken this a wrongful death case seven years to get to this conclusion. The defendant already behind bars. I spoke to the victim's father who tells me the multi-million dollar award just pales in comparison to finally getting justice for his son. I gotta be honest with you. It wasn't the judgment. It was getting all the facts. Philip Harvey Sr. has just been awarded $40 million in the hit and run death of his 27 year old son, Philip Harvey Jr., rear ended by John David White on Map Road in 2014. White was later found walking on U.S. Highway 1 and ultimately convicted of DUI manslaughter and leaving the scene of a fatal accident, sentenced in a plea deal to 25 years. Money, what can, that ain't got nothing to do with it. This man. And if he get out, he is trying to get out. Troopers noted White had two previous drunken driving convictions, was the driver at fault in another hit and run crash. And when he slammed into Harvey, had his license indefinitely suspended for refusing a breathalyzer in yet another suspected drunken driving case. And in this case, he denied he was the driver. I'm sorry for being emotional, but you want to know, I've still been... When they took his blood alcohol 10 hours after the fact, all of it had been released from his system. So he could have, if his plan had come out, he could have escaped from this. A spot of blood on the airbag was identified as White's using DNA. And because of his prior record and originally denying he was the driver, the jury awarded more than lawyers asked for, $40 million. That was the most important thing, is that Mr. Harvey wanted his son's value not to be diminished. Yeah. And then they, they really kind of surprised us. DNA evidence in this case put him squarely behind the wheel. We knew he, he is the man that killed your son. And the lawyers tell me it is doubtful that the Harveys will ever see those millions as the defendant remains behind bars. But they say he is trying to appeal and or get out early. And if that happens, they say, they will be standing there waiting with the civil judgment in hand. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.